Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn the fourth method to create a ball corner. Now in the previous one, what we did was create a ball corner like this, but as you can see, it's got three surfaces. So we've got one, two, and three. And because the third surface is just a continuous over here, or well, just one single sheet, we are able to use the ball corner tool or corner blend tool to get to it very easily. However, there are instances where you might come across something like this, where there are actually four surfaces and you still have to create a ball corner like that. Now, there are real life examples like this. Now, this is uh, of a Audi e-tron project that I created, uh, one of the lessons that I'm uploading to YouTube right now. You'll see that the front grill is shaped like this. So this is actually considered a ball corner. So you'll see that the, there are four surfaces, one, two, three, and four. One connected three here, one three here, and there's a fillet here and fillet here, and these all have to be aligned. So this is actually quite a common example. So let's go ahead and create a ball corner. So I'm just gonna start with, uh, I'm going to try to keep this example somewhat, somewhat simple. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same dimensions that I did before. So it's going to be 75, one uh, over here like this. And let's just go ahead and edge line over here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, even though the size is the same, so you'll notice that this is actually slightly different. So what you wanna do is, well, you can align it um, or you can just leave it, doesn't really matter. Um, you're, we're still going to follow the same principles. Now, if you were to make it really easy, uh, what you can do is just pick these surfaces like this and just run it through. But looks like it's not running through. So let's go ahead and then actually try to manually build this. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I think I'm actually going to line this up. So let's go ahead and I'm going to just do a fit curve over here like this. It's going to be, I'm just going to make it degree two. I'm going to do a fit curve here uh, here also. I'm just going to delete the construction history and I'm just going to make sure that they all line up. So I'm just going to grab this curve over here like this and let's just undo this one like this. I know it's a little bit, um, it's not perfectly balanced, but I think it should be okay. Let's go ahead and just project like this and I'm going to go ahead and trim. Since the curving surface is a little bit short, I'm gonna say extend, select it, and I'm just going to click on this arrow, same thing over here. And we do need a fourth uh, side, so I'm just going to put a blend curve there, and I'm going to finish it off with the square. So it's gonna one, two, three, and four like this. It looks like it's got a, quite a lot of spans, so let's see if I can do a rebuild. Looks like that didn't work. So I'm gonna say explicit control, five and five, and we got curvature. Okay, so the only, well, looks like it's spreading apart towards the bottom. So I am going to see if I can do a little bit of manipulation here. Uh, well, actually, first of all, let's just make sure that the, uh, these curves are nicely aligned. And I'm just going to push them a little bit more outboard. Make sure I turn the CV structures on. And I feel like this is actually a little bit off. So I'm going to just make sure that align this side, it's going to G2. Okay, so it looks like now it's nicely aligned. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one. And what I'm going to do is, let's delete the construction history over here. And we do need a surface that's running, uh, we do need a secondary surface or a filler running through here. So I'm going to do that next. So this one, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller uh, edge line, yep, that's good. And I'm going to have edge line over here and edge line over here. So now what I need to do is I need to create a surface that's going through here. Now, in order to do this, what you can do is you can use a, well, there are several ways to do this. You can rebuild it over here, or um, basically I, I can untrim this surface over here, untrim this one and let's just go ahead and get rid of these curving surfaces. I'm going to trim this over here like this, and I'm going to trim this over here. I know it's a little bit off, and you can just use the same dimension. I think it should work, and you can just align it like that. Uh, so that's one way to do it. I think the edges are exactly aligned, um, so I'm, I think that's good. And let me just hide these over here 
So I'm just going to hide them over here. I'm just going to delete the construction history. And for this one, I'm going to show you guys a little bit different method. Okay, so what you can do is I'm just going to duplicate this edge over here. You can use insert, but because this surface is a little bit shaped differently as it goes towards the end, I don't think insert is going to work. So, oh, well, let, let's give it a go. So what you can do is you can just use the insert to snap over here like this. But as you can see, it's a little bit off. So I think in this case, uh, just using this uh, edge and duplicating is better. So I'm just going to grab this curve. I'm going to align, uh, line it up here. And you'll see that the CV structure is somewhat close. I am going to align it so that it's exactly curvature. Now, this method is very similar to the one I showed where uh, I think it was a ball corner three where I manually built it. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that the CV structure is a very similar between the curve and the surface. So I think this one is pretty good on this side. This one I had to do a little bit of adjustment, but overall not too bad. So now what you're going to do is same thing. I'm just going to project here, delete the curves because that's no longer needed. And now I'm going to just do a trim convert on this piece like this. The original piece is no longer needed, so I'm just going to hide it. And now this one, because it is a trim converted surface, you do, you do want to make sure that it's uh, perfectly aligned. So I'm just going to align it this way. It's going to be edge on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm going to say edge. Now you'll see that there is a slight difference between edge and skew. So you just want to make sure that it is edge. So that it's completely curvature and everything flows nicely. Okay, so now it's the same thing. I'm just going to use a square. It's a very similar technique to how uh, ball corner three was done. So I'm going to just set everything to curvature. Well, actually, well, let's start from zero. So it's going to one, two, three, and four. Actually, even with this, that looks not bad. I'm surprised. But you'll see that there's a little bit of continuity issue. Uh, for example, you see a crease running through here. And I think I see a crease running through here also. So now let's go ahead and match the continuity. I'm going to turn actually explicit control off. So you want to turn everything to curvature. Actually, this works out not bad, considering that this is actually a very complex surface, but I was able to get curvature all sides with relatively few spans. But you want to get even cleaner. So now I'm going to turn explicit control on and you'll see that the CV structure, uh, well, the continue fails on some of the corners. So what you want to do is now you want to turn on collinear options and I'm going to press boundary one and we have a curvature here. It failed here. And I'm going to go to two and I'm going to do three. And now we got curvature here and I'm going to do four. And we got curvature on all sides. Now, there are instances where you will not be able to get a perfect uh, ball corner like this just by clicking boundary uh, cleaner options on. And if that is the case, you do have to do use transform CV in order to do the final adjustment. But for this one, it actually worked out pretty nicely. And we got a very clean single span ball corner just like that. Okay. So that is the fourth way to create a ball corner. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.